Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I uh, decided a couple of weeks back, really, uh, that I was going to start collecting all the Marvel films uh, in Blu-ray. So anything with Avengers theme, uh, I was going to collect them onto Blu-ray because 1080p and great sound quality and all that jazz. Um, one of my latest Marvel uh, collections is uh, Thor. The first film, of course. Uh, I went to see the second one a few, uh, few weeks back at the cinema. I thought it was pretty cool, and uh, yeah, I like Thor, uh, but I like uh, Iron Man and uh, Captain America. So, at the very start of the story, uh, it gives you the backstory of uh, Asgard, and uh, who they are, and it also gives you the backstory of why they are not friends with uh, the Frost Giants. Now, Frost Giants, I'm sure you could probably gather, they're cold and they're big. Uh, yeah, they live on two separate worlds. But they're connected by Rainbow Bridge. I think it's called the Rainbow Bridge, actually. The uh, Frost Giants managed to sneak their way into Asgard, where the uh, treasures are kept. Uh, so, like the Tower of London, all the precious moments of uh, an Asgardian and anything valuable, precious to them, is kept in this place. And the Frost Giants managed to get in, uh, but they're destroyed. Uh, they are killed, which is good by the uh, Protector. Uh, so it's a good thing really and uh, that kind of sets off the, the story but it tells you once the frost giants are destroyed and uh, it explains why they're banished because Thor's dad played by Anthony Hopkins has uh, an agreement with the frost giants leader and uh, obviously there's, uh, there's a bond that's broken between them pair and so uh, Thor decides to take it upon himself because they broke in, uh, they got so far and he was a bit pissed really. So he goes over to the Frost Giants world and uh, he decides to teach him a lesson. Because he kind of acts like a spoiled brat in this film, for the beginning anyway. And uh, yeah, he goes over and teaches him a lesson. Of course his dad isn't too pleased because he, he disobeyed a direct order. So. Anthony Hopkins, Thor's dad, banishes him to Earth, and that's where he meets Jane Foster, who is played by Natalie Portman. We've got Kat Denning as well. She's in it. She's uh, the funny Earthling almost. Um, so Thor's from another world, and she's the one who cracks jokes about him. But really, I thought it was a pretty enjoyable film. I wasn't. I've seen this a few times before, and I wasn't really a fan of it until after the Avengers, and. Uh, after I played the Lego Marvels game. And uh, that's when I become a fan of Christopher Hemsworth. Uh, he plays a really good Thor. Bit of a spoiled brat, but a pretty cool spoiled brat. Who's uh, an Asgardian, which is a god. Uh, they live for many, many, many years, many years. And he's got some cool powers. He is the god of thunder. I mean, who doesn't want to be the god of thunder? Can... He's got his own little hammer. I can't even pronounce what it's called. It's Cat Denning anyway, in the film. Cat Denning calls it Meow Meow. And that's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, so yeah, he's got his own hammer called Meow Meow. He throws it, he can conduct lightning with it, he can throw lightning bolts with it, he can fly with it. He's got his own cape. But yeah, Thor is a cool character. And it's a good story because it tells you... I mean, this was out before the Avengers. So it tells you the backstory of Thor. It tells you all about him, his home planet, uh, who his bad guys are, so the Frost Giants. Um, and then it builds up, obviously, because it's got its own cutscene at the end. Obviously, all the Marvel films tie into one another. But the cut story at the end also builds up to the Avengers. So, yeah, really. I mean, if you're a fan of the Avengers, uh, if, you know, if you're like Iron Man, really, uh, you can't be a fan of the Avengers without watching this. I became more of a Thor fan after watching the Avengers and playing uh, Lego Marvel's game than before. But, honestly... If you want to watch a, a god who's really strong, who can fly with a hammer, um, who's got a dad of Anthony Hopkins, and uh, if you're a fan of uh, Natalie Portman, or even Cat Denning, uh, I, Idris Elba, Luther, he's in the film. Loki as well, played by Tom Hiddleston, which is an English actor. He plays an awesome bad guy. I've never seen him in any film before. But then I see him in this as Loki, and he kicks ass really and it's great to see an English actor in a Hollywood blockbuster but uh, yeah if you if you like Thor and Avengers and you've never seen this then you gotta definitely pick it up or even if you're a Christopher Hemsworth fan 
if you think Christopher Hemsworth would be pretty cool, uh, pick it up for him really. But yeah, Thor, Blu-ray collection of Marvel DVDs, love it. Uh, great film, if you're a fan of the Avengers then get it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching my review of Thor, hope you enjoyed it. Recommended if you're a Avengers fan. Also guys, don't forget Toby WTD, uh, all the links down below. But thank you for watching my review of Thor. And uh, Rainbow Path, Rainbow Bridge. It's a bridge, it's a path. It looks like a rainbow.